Hey guys, it's Stardust Overlord here. Welcome back to another episode of The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. Uh, now in the last episode, we were busy trying to find our Loftwing, and we kind of got more evidence as to where it was, but we still don't actually know. Well, we roughly know where it is. Anyway, this guy's supposed to give us a sword. Whether he does, no idea. Hey, Starter, so you still want to get some sword practice even though- Why is he suddenly Australian? I have no idea why- what, Why is this happening? I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know. Even though today is the wings are on me, I'm impressed. So, the sword is in the back room, go back there and get it. I'll be out here for a while, so if there's anything you don't understand about handling a sword, go on ahead and ask. I guarantee I'm going to have to actually ask him anyway. No, don't try and climb the door, just go in the room. <gasps> a chest, the first chest. Yay. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm a pro already. Can I please leave? I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to. What? Your love wing is missing. Do you want to go look for it? I don't guess I can make an exception with the moon and the flower to be for blade and only life carries on. I want to see if we can around with the other room left and make some no Make sure we get plenty of practice with his love first. I want to get outside with that sword. You think we use it when you absolutely have to. Can I can I please just can I leave? He's not gonna let me leave, is he? Score! I don't actually have to practice, that's brilliant. Yay. Why, Sheikah Stone? No, get, no, just get out of there. No. Hey friend, walk us over over here and say hello. No, no, you're, you're a crazy talking stone. I don't want to talk to you. And what you call a Sheikah Stone? Glad to meet you. I'm a stone of few words, so I'll get right to it. You're going to find yourself in a puzzling circumstances. You'll make your way through this world. If you should find yourself stuck and have no idea what to how to move forward, come see me. We've got nothing for you right now, but down the road you'll have a feeling of stuck things I'll show you. May just get you back on the right track. Good luck out there, friend. You're not my friend. I don't talk to stones, especially ones that talk. Having a conversation with a giant stone is not normal. I'm gonna go ahead and save here. Just in case. You know, I try and save as much off screen as I can, but sometimes, you know, just wanna make sure. I wanna make sure it's, if the game, like, gives up on it. You got a heart, the sign of the life-giving energy restores one's health. You got a heart, you already have one, but don't worry, you can just take seven. Why not? Okay. Wow. Oh. There's a waterfall. Let's go. You can't. How What waterfall? Ah, you bitch. Jellyfish blob, look at you. Where's the other one? I thought there were two. Okay, maybe not. Oh wow. Oh, 
I got my first ever green rupee. I'm, I'm a pro. Promise. Come at me, bat. Come at me, bro. Ah, you do that. A blue ruby. Look at how great I am. I already got the blue and a green ruby. I'm, I'm making all the money today. Oh, why bat? Uh, and now the nunchuck decides it's going to be independent of my Wii Remote. This is, this, this is not... Why, why are you doing this, nunchuck? Is that a beetle? I think it's a beetle making that noise. Anyway, look, little, little mini chin. Oh, you, you win, you, you win. Oh, and I got a red ruby. Oh, look at that. Look, that all that big 28 rupees. Um, okay, so I'm just going all along there, I guess. You want to do anything now? No, my nunchuck just doesn't, doesn't want to work now. Thanks, 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 nunchuck. I'm going to go and get this fixed, seriously. It's becoming a bit of a pain in the butt. Hello, cricket. Damn it, why are there so many of you guys? Are oh, you bish? Also, I'm just gonna point out, right, guys, if they didn't have any swords, like, Groot isn't is, is a pretty big cow, and like, how the hell did he make it through? Ooh. Monster claw, look at that. It's extremely sharp, but don't worry, I'll just put it in a fit. I'll just, I'll just carry it in my pocket, because, you know, nothing bad's gonna happen from that. <gasps> oh, money, money, money. Look how much money I got. I'm doing, I'm doing great for myself. <sighs> well then. I'll give you the good old save. I kind of feel, yeah, so basically... If Groose was the one, and I'm guessing he was the one who uh, took my um, my loft wing, he's a massive freaking coward. So how the hell did he get down here? Why? Hey, Stardust, I was hoping I'd find you here. I heard you'd gone searching for your bird around the waterfall, so... I thought I'd fly around to help you look. Well, thank you for the help, but I think we've already found him. How's the search going? Any sign of your loft wing? Oh no. Well, let's not lose hope, but, but we just kind of sensed him. Surely we do have an a kind of an idea that he's here. Well, let's not lose hope yet. There's a place up ahead, the Groose and his gang are always hanging around. Maybe we'll find something there. Huh? Who, who, who's that? Who's calling for me? Oh, sorry, Stardust. I got distracted for a moment. Let's go. Something tells me that little moment is gonna be very important later on. Like, it's always the, like the smaller things that are like not important. Anyway, how did Groose get the loft wing down there? Look, there he is. Yeah. How did how did firstly how did Groose get down here? Because he's like the massive coward. Like you think when Zelda went up to him, he just kind of like backed off. You're like, how did he get down here? No doubt about it. That's your loft wing, Stardust. Well, you don't say. But first I'm going to attack these barrels. Barrels! No. This is great. No, don't hit the... Don't hit the rock, please. Yeah, I promise it's going to be sorted out in future episodes, but until then I'm just going to apparently walk to my doom. How do I get him out? Oh, wait, unless I go, I have to break the, oh, wow, my nunchuck is behaving like a complete a-hole right now. Yeah, so I can tell that I'm, I'm not doing well. 
Why? Wow. No. Ah, yeah, you know, for the, the, that's the only thing that would have come in handy from the full train. Yeah, there we go. I did it. I'm so proud. <laughs> you stand being a prick. Um, what took you so long to save me, you dumbass? <laughs> So basically, it's a giant duck. <laughs> he just run off and jumps, and he's just like, nope, screw you, I ain't saving you. We should hurry, Stardust. Now that you've got your Lothwin free, you should be able to fly into the ceremony. But before you go, I have to ask you something. I I heard this voice a few moments ago. Did you hear it too? <laughs> no, no, you you're schizophrenic, bro. You're hearing voices. It's been happening a lot lately. It's a strange feeling, almost like someone's calling out to me. You've been you've been on the drugs. You're hearing voices. Have you ever wondered what's beneath the clouds? Nah, see, see, most of us just mind the zombies. We don't think about what's. But what's you know above the region that we're staying? We just you know focus on what's in our little community, and then don't worry about exploring because you know that can that can get you killed. Some say it's empty, barren place, or even that there's nothing down there at all. But I just have this feeling that they're wrong. Some of Father's old texts talk about a place on the surface. They called a surface. It's a great, great name. The old tales describe the whole world under there, far more vast than Skyloft. The thing is, no one's ever been down there to see it, so our love wings won't fly through the cloud barrier. But I can't help imagine the wild things that might be waiting below. Someday I want to see it for myself. That kind of talk will get you killed. <laughs> oh, sorry, Silas. We don't have time to talk. Let's get going. Right now. Like, I've been creeping you for far too long. Just, just, just jump. Don't worry, your bird will catch you for sure this time. No, it won't, because my bird hates me. Fucking duck. Um... Here we go, I guess. Oh great, our bird's actually like fine. This is the last time I pull your ass out of anywhere. Well, that's like... Yeah. Where are we even going? No, no, this way. Great, no. Otherwise you're going to take me through a tutorial. Great. Yep. Yeah, he's fine. he's handling just fine. Let me just Thank you. a huge relief. I don't know how you saw this, but I was... Your Lothwing looks like he's flying great. Yeah, I'd say. My father and the others are probably worried so about your bird, so let's give them the good news. Yay. Thank you, Thank you for that meaningless tutorial. <sighs> Why? Yep, let's just save it, because this is when obviously the obligatory big stuff happens. Your love wing really is amazing, especially considering everything the poor guy has been through this morning. I'm gonna fly back and tell father. Also, they're not like reprimanding for any of this sort of crap. Like, it's wild animal abuse. Like, 
no, but no, no, no reprimanding here. You know, we don't do that sort of stuff. We just keep all the animal abuse you want. I'm gonna fly back and tell father what happened. Okay, bye, bye then. Oh, this prick. Well, if it isn't Stardust, word around the planet that you found your dumb bird of yours. Well, that's just great because you and your dumb bird can tell the time. All pre-race warm-ups and the guy I did were for nothing. Now I'm all stuffed. We've been waiting forever for the race to start and they delay it for you. I don't get it. The big plate gets special treatment. Nobody ever uses that, 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 that sentence is never used ever. You're almost a man and yet you still can't seem to go anywhere without Zelda. I bet you can't even decide what to have for lunch on your own, huh? I don't think we've ever noticed a smug look. Oh, Zelda, I and Anna and I are best friends. We go everywhere together. <clears throat> you think you're pretty suave, don't you? Well, don't you? You should mean going on forever about how he's gonna be the one to be with Zelda. He's really got this pompadour and a ruffle of over, 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 over. I can't even talk. <laughs> I hate to break it to you, but today's the day I bust up on this adorable old fancy land of yours lying in. Zelda's playing the role of the gutter today at the ceremony, and I'm gonna be the one to claim that sailcloth. That's the only thing I'm gonna claim. <laughs> when I heard she made herself, man, there's no way I'm gonna let some scorny clown snatch a prize from her. <laughs> I'm so awesome. Oh yeah, that sailcloth, that the sailcloth will be mine. <laughs> oh man, I, I bet she was thinking about me when she was stitching it. This is because uh, yeah, it's yeah, it's definitely not creepy at all. <laughs> Yeah, but I can see now. First I win the big race and then Zelda and I finish the ceremony together on the statue, just the two of us. It'll be our special moment alone with nobody stopping me and Zelda from having our moment. Oh, it's so real. I can, I can see it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Gross. Gross. Behind you. Right behind you. What? Can't you see you two see I'm in the middle of Oh shit. <laughs> Can I explain what you meant by our special moment alone? Uh, I, uh, no, nothing big, just really just. just started, so I was just telling my buddy here how glad I was he found his red bird of his. Boy, I, I am looking forward to their fair race. Anyhow, later Zelda, look for me during the race. I'll be the one pulling off all the dangerous moves. How does that pompadour thing of him even, even stay airborne? Go straight up! Did you hear that guy? A fair race, yeah, the chances of that happening are about less than zero. They're negative. Either way, don't let those guys get deep down, Stardust. Just get out there and fly the best you can. I've known these guys to be. I know you've got it deep down to beat. I know you've got these guys beat, and deep down I think you do too. Yeah! That's a spirit starter, trust me. You can win this. Oh, for fuck. That's Chuck. That's a spirit starter, trust me, you can win this. The wing ceremony will now begin. Participating students, please assemble. Looks like it's race time. Good luck, starters. You got this, bro. Yeah. And it's like the blue arrows, but it's a, it's a blue, big blue ducks. Oh, great. Wow. Hey. I'm gonna end today's episode here. I'm gonna be a real douche. I'm gonna be like, you know what, I'm gonna, I'm gonna end it here. Um, because I have a funny feeling this cutscene is going to last either a very long time or it's going to just go to somewhere that I can't save. So, uh, 
we are going to start the ceremony in the next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, you've been awesome. I've been Silas Overlord. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like and a comment. If you want to see more, be sure to check the links in the description below. And uh, if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. Coming over all today, we're trying to aim for 600 subscribers as soon as possible. Uh, yeah, any um, you know, any kind of support, really, really appreciate it. So yeah, hope you guys all have an awesome day, and I'll see you all in the next video. Until then, see ya. Oh, hey, hey, fucker, hey, motherfucker. He was like, nope, do not give. I give zero shits about what you are saying here. Hey, buddy. Yeah, what are you doing there, buddy?